All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to now get into talking about Russell Wilson. And it appears he is set to start for the Steelers on Sunday. And, you know, this uh, broke yesterday uh, after the show. So I I just thought it was uh, interesting to get into and and discuss because, you know, I, I... I don't think Justin Fields has played bad. Um, you know, he hasn't been great. But I, I do think with the Steelers and, and their record right now, it's kind of an interesting move to kind of pull the plug on this. And, you know, it, I mean, if Russell Wilson doesn't play well, they can go back to Fields. But, you know, I mean, the Steelers are 4-2 and two right now. Now, if they were like two and four, one and five, you know, yeah, you go back to Russell Wilson. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I just feel like they, they might have pulled the plug early on this. Um, I, I feel like Fields has played well enough where he deserved to keep the job. Um, you know, I, I mean, the Steelers. This could have been their plan all along, regardless of how Fields played. That you know, they brought Russell Wilson in to be the starter. And it didn't matter how Fields was going to play. Russell Wilson was going to take over, take the job back when he was fully healthy. Because he is fully healthy from the calf injury that he's been dealing with for a while now. Um, but I just, look, if if you, were gonna, if you were to tell me that it was the Russell Wilson from Seattle that the Steelers were getting, then I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. But you're not getting that Russell Wilson. You're getting a more... You're getting a Mr. Limited. I'll say that, even though that was bad. But you're getting a guy that's limited at what he can do. Russell Wilson doesn't take off and run with it like he used to. You know, he doesn't extend plays. This is something we were talking about in our production meeting yesterday. He doesn't extend plays like he used to. You know, he can't see the middle of the field. Did he play? How how would we say he played last year? I mean, I would say he was he was solid, but again, if you go into more, if you take a deeper dive into how he played last year, you'll see that a lot of it was checkdowns. You know, like I said, can't see the middle of the field. A lot of deep ball passes to Cortland Sutton, which were nice to see, but again, it's not the same Russell Wilson that we were accustomed to seeing in Seattle. And, look, I, I just think Justin Fields, he was playing winning football. You know, he, he wasn't, I mean, did turn the ball over, but not a lot. You know, I, I mean, he so far this year, he has five touchdowns to one interception. Has 1,100 yards passing, a rating of 93.9. He hasn't been bad. And he's got five rushing touchdowns on the season. You know, Justin Fields, there are some limitations with him, but I feel like there's more limitations with Russell Wilson. You know, so, and again, you you have to wonder, what are the Steelers going to do at the end of the season? You know, like, because both of these guys are going to be free agents. I mean, uh, is Fields going to be brought back? And they're going to let Russ go? Is that what their plan is? Um, We'll have to wait and see. But I don't know. I'm not not a big fan of the move. I I think you keep playing fields until, you know, he has a really bad game. And then maybe you go back to Russ. I I don't know. I, I just feel like fields kind of earned to keep the job. But you could also say... Look at the style of football that the Steelers are playing. You know, the, the two losses that they have, they were both close games. Like, the Cowboys game, they should have definitely won that game. The Colts game, they were playing catch-up the whole time. But you know what? Fields played well in that game. You know, they almost came back. So even when the Steelers were down, you know, Fields still managed to have a good game. And, you know... They had a chance to either tie the game or go ahead, but that didn't happen. But you could also say, well, the Colts don't have a good defense. But, 
you know, it, it, the style of football that the Steelers play, you know, it, it. I mean, if you play against, you know, Kansas City or, you know, Baltimore and you're falling behind, odds are you're probably not going to catch up. Now, I don't think – I, I think – when it comes to those two teams, I mean, it's going to be a little different when the Steelers match up against those teams because, well, one of them is a divisional opponent that you know well, and, you know, the Ravens and the Steelers, for some reason, those games are always close, you know, despite the Steelers' offensive struggles. They kind of own the Ravens. So, you know, we'll see what happens when they match up this year, but I expect those games to be close. And then against the Chiefs, we'll see what happens. That game's on Christmas. Um, you know, the Chiefs. You're gonna to have to play uh, keep up with that offense if you know they start to click, um, and it looks like they did um, last week uh, against the Saints. We'll, we'll get into the Chiefs uh, in a little bit uh, later in the show, but yeah, it, it's the Steelers. They play good defense, run the football, control the line of scrimmage, and you know keep the game close so you could play your game, which is they run like to run the football. And, um, you know, against the Raiders, it was kind of a laugher for them. You know, they put up 30 points. That's the other thing, too. You know, the Steelers' offense put up 30 points. And that was the game where they're like, yeah, we're going to go back to Russ. You know, it was a shocker to a lot of people. They're like, wow, the Steelers' offense put up 30 points. I know it was against the Raiders. But still, seeing that, you're like, wow, I did not expect the Steelers' offense to do that. I don't know. Like, do I think Russ is going to be horrible? Now that he's the starter, no. But, I mean, it's it's going to be inconsistent at times. You know, Russ, I think, will still make plays, but I don't know. I, I was I, I was liking what Fields was doing. Um, and, you know, the schedule now, it's, it's going to get tougher because you still haven't played a divisional opponent yet. That's coming up. You know, like I said, you got Kansas City on the schedule. You're going to be in Philly even though I think the Steelers could still win that game because the Eagles, I, I I just have not been impressed with them so far this year. Obviously, individual players. You know, A.J. Brown has looked good in the two games that he's played in. Devontae Smith, um, Saquon Barkley, of course. Um, you know, Jalen Hurts has been middle of the road so far. But I think the Steelers could definitely be competitive in that game. Um, th yeah, I mean, that second half of the schedule is not as daunting as it was originally. Because, I mean, and the Bengals, you know, they're 2-4 and four right now. I know they've given the Steelers problems, but it's a divisional game. The Browns, they look like they mailed it in this year, you know, trading away Amari Cooper. Now, they're getting Nick Chubb back, but, you know, how much is that going to... I mean, it's going to help him, but, you know, he's going to be trying to work his way back from his injury... Major injury that he suffered last year. You know, it, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I mean, Russell Wilson, he was taking first-team reps this week, and, and Tomlin said he's in consideration to start. So I guess this is really what they had in mind all along. Is that, like I said, Russ is going to come back from injury, and he's going to play. But I don't know. I, 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 for, for me, it would have been hard to, you know, say, all right, Justin, you're going to sit down and, you know, we're going to start Russ instead. But that's what they decided to do. And we'll see how we go, how, how he does against the Jets this week, which it's going to be interesting. Um, now you're going to have Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers playing each other on Sunday Night Football once again. You know, you would have thought this game was from 10 years ago. So, um, yeah, no, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I, I, would have, I would have stuck with Justin Fields. But for the Steelers, I mean, get another wide receiver. That's what they, that's what they have to do is get another wide receiver. Improve this offense. And George Pickens uh, is is making news for the wrong reasons. You know he was he was uh, it, it, he was in a reduced uh, snap count. I think I, I saw. Yeah, so that, that that's not good. That's not good. Um, 
you know, he was causing problems at the end of the Cowboys game. So we'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys think, though, about this. Do you think that Russell Wilson should be the starter? Do you think Fields should stay the starter? I, I lean more towards I think Fields should stay as the starter. And then, you know, if he doesn't play well, then you, then you go to Russ. But I feel like Fields, you know, the, the Steelers are winning games, and even the games they lost, they were competitive in. Still give him a shot, but they, uh, they're they going with Russ, and we'll see how he looks on Sunday when they take on the Jets. Aaron Rodgers against Russell Wilson. Another uh, chapter in that saga, although it's going to be a little different because both players are on different teams. Russell Wilson's now on his third team. And we'll see if Aaron Rodgers uh, joins another team after this year, but who knows. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that decision by the Steelers. So when we come back from our next break, um, we will talk about Aaron Rodgers' former team. We'll talk about the Green Bay Packers and their performance on Sunday. I know, like, so far this whole show has just been, you know, other stuff besides games because I know there were some games that I still haven't gotten to yet. Um, I may recap the, the rest of them tomorrow. Um... But, yeah, it's been all about trades and uh, quarterback decisions, things like that. Um, but, yeah, th this was one game that I did want to recap because, you know, the Packers did play well. And we'll get into all that when we come back from break. Um, just good to see Jordan Love out there playing good football. Because, uh, you know, after that injury on, on uh, well, in week one, you know, you thought the worst, but... You know, he came back sooner than expected. And, you know, the Packers look like they're kicking it into the next gear, which uh, is good to see. Um, and just looking at that NFC North, I mean, that right now is the best division in football. Every team is over 500. Um, and we're going to see a big game on Sunday when the Vikings take on the Lions which is going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. So, yeah, we're going to talk about the Packers and their win when we return from our next break. So, with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 